Hey there, YouTubers. We are continuing the mission on Quadricolinus. Now, what I did is I made a change in my downloads contents. I added one more, so that's seven downloadable content. Um, they're not that expensive, so you want to make them count. Um, and you want to use them wisely because, you know, uh, these people make a lot of effort to put those out. So you want to get what you think would be right for the map. And uh, what I did was I got um, the duck and cover. Now with duck and cover, you get a better deployable. You get these these blinds, these waterfowl blinds. They're fantastic. You also get a 20 gauge shotgun. Now the 20 gauge shotgun is two to seven. It has two to four buckshot and four to seven um, slugs. And that might be better for this map. I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at it. All right. So we have the artisan, the clandestine, and the serviceman. And what you'll notice in these is they have different tips on the, on the front of the weapon. So the, the clandestine has a red tip on the end that's pretty easy to see. The artisan also has a pretty good tip, but the serviceman is a pretty much a black tip. So you want to scope the serviceman. It's got three rounds instead of two, but all the same stats of a gamekeeper, except the reload speed. But you don't have to worry about it because the reload comes from the bottom, and it's a decent weapon. So what I'm thinking of is um, having... A 3.5 weapon and running the running the 20 RSA. So this is a really good bargain for this map. <clears throat> now um, we could take a look here. I've got six thousand five hundred dollars to spend, and what I'm thinking of doing is getting the. Uh, let's see, which one should we get? We'll pick one of them. If I'm doing this one, I think I will like it a lot. So we're going to run with the 20 SA clandestine Norden shotgun. All right, storage. We'll put this one away. We'll ring this one out. We'll put this one away. And I think we did fairly well uh, purchasing the extra buckshot if we were going to use it. So we'll go to the store. We'll go to shotgun ammo. And now we have these cheap buckshots and fairly cheap slugs. For what you get now to run the buckshot uh, we'll have the start because we still have a two to four and we just have problems with the with the wolves i want to see how well they do so we'll get 20 of them and uh we'll, we'll we'll get another 50. we got enough money for that we're gonna earn money as we go so we'll just run the buckshot for now and uh we'll earn the the slugs now what that does is that gives us the capability of hunting red deer if we need it. Um, uh, with Once we get the, the weapon scoped, we'll definitely be able to hunt the red deer. And it gives us the ability to go with the, the, the size 4 to 6 animals that are on this map that are populated. Um, this basic buckshot is for the, the roe deer, um, the wild boar. Uh, the Mufflon and the Ibex I don't think would do well with the Buckshot. I think we would need to use the Slugs for those because they're pretty tough. And the Boar also, but we don't have much of a choice. We have to run something. Alright, so with that, no further ado on that. We'll take a look and uh, we'll go to Inventory and we'll set it up. Alright. So here we have the map we saw in our beginning of our quest. We had a, a need zone for wild boar, I think. If I remember right, we did. Let's take a look. Roe deer, roe deer, roe deer. Okay. No, we did not. Okay. We just spotted some in this area. So, 
in my next episode, I'm going to hunt roe deer uh, and hunt um, wild boar from this zone. Now, we still might run into some wolves, but I hope not. I, it'd be nice to have a kind of a break from the wolves because <laughs> they're pretty tough. And I don't have a size 5 weapon at the moment. <clears throat> so, seven, seven packs. The Bloodhound pack, the Quattro Kalinas pack, the High Tech Weaponry pack. The Sasika Trophy Lodge, the Tents and Ground Blinds, the Tree Stand and Tripods, and now the Duck and Cover Pack. And I think that will do it for this. And we will have these as our packs. This is our map. And we will be set up. All right, that's all I got for now until we start the hunt for the boar. And I will see you then. Next episode will be up.